Hey Leo, how you doing? We're going to be doing your reading here for January 17th to the 23rd. Uh, welcome to Magician Tarot. My name is Neil. Keep in mind these are general readings, so they might not resonate with everyone out there. Okay, so let's see what we got going on for you guys for January 17th to the 23rd, kind of kicking off the uh, the week there on a full moon in Cancer. Okay, also retrograde as well. So. First card that comes out is we have the Nine of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or this is you. Flip the energies if you need to, but somebody here is just regretting a situation here, okay? Um, sleepless nights, very this very much in their head here, and um, somebody made a mistake. Someone Someone's uh, feeling very regretful, all right? So let's see the challenge here um, with this person. Could be someone from the past, Six of Cups, okay? So um, somebody here that you've dealt with in the past, maybe it's an ex, maybe it's someone here that it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic connection as well. It could just be a friendship too, okay? So it's just Six of Cups energy is someone that you've known here from the past. Have a deep connection or just a connection in general, okay? But, <clears throat> you know, maybe something here where somebody wants to move towards someone and is unable to, all right? So... Um, we're gonna have to dig into that a little bit more, but definitely air we have air and water so far So let's see what's going on in your focus for Leo high priestess, okay? Um, definitely using your intuition very your intuition is pretty high right now um, Whatever decisions you're making definitely using your gut here on that recent past we have the moon so cancer Pisces well cancer Pisces Scorpio energy no, Pisces energy, but that lobster I was telling you about. That's what I was thinking about. Okay, just beginning of the week here, we start off at the full moon, okay? So being in your past um, area here. So it's kind of starting off at a nice nice area because technically it's from the 17th. This is the 17th, it's your full moon, which after that, this stuff kind of kicks in as well, right? So... Um, so definitely something's going to be illuminated here. You know, it's kind of been like that with the Leos, to be honest. Um, something here, I don't know if you guys are dealing with something for yourself or, um, you guys are dealing with a past person, but it's like somebody is about to get a reality check. Okay. That's, that's really what it is. Somebody is about to have a wake up call, understand that they really fucked up and, and they're, and they're going to be kind of getting that during this full moon here. Okay. It's really what it is. I mean, um, you're sitting pretty good. The high priestess, you kind of know this is coming. Um, I feel like you've probably even moved on. You're doing your own shit right now. You're just saying, you know what? Forget this. I'm moving on. I, you know, again, I know your energy has been kind of moving forward, focusing on yourself, taking care of yourself. This person is going through it now or going into this energy of just feeling regretful and wanting to come back towards you. Okay. Um, Knight, of, Knight of Swords here, wanting to communicate. Uh, possibilities here. What's going on for Leo? The Ten of Wands. Somebody feels very burdened. All right. A lot of um, wow. The nine nine of swords. The Ten of Wands. I mean, somebody here is just feeling very burdened, very like weighed down. A lot of stress on their shoulders. Um, you know, this is fire energy. This is Leo energy as well. So. You know, maybe this is you feeling very, uh, having a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things going on. Uh, but I kind of feel like this is your person, okay? I feel like there's somebody here that's just um, not doing too good, not doing too well at all. Sleepless nights, maybe even very tired, um, you know, something like that. And and, um, and and just kind of going through, going through a lot of shit here. Let's see, near future, what's going on for Leo? We have the Five of Swords here. So I feel like, you know, if this person does come back around and Knight of, Knight of Swords here again and communicates, I feel like you're going to cut this person off or you may not even respond. You know, if this person calls or texts, uh, you're not going to you're not going to engage into this here. OK, your feels here. What do we got? We have the Knight of Wands. This is your energy. You're in a playful mood here. You like to, you. You want to find something new. Ace of Wands. You want something new. New connection, 
Um, maybe even meeting a new fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you want to have fun. Um, you're not really concerned too much about this past connection. Um, even though this person is going through it, it's a heavy, heavy energy there. Um, wh whatever they did, it was just kind of like a, you know, I feel like they think they were going to get away with something. And then um, after a while here, it caught up to them. And I, and I don't even think they even knew that was coming towards them. So let's see. Environment. What do we got going on? Hermit. Somebody is definitely in the hermit mode here. Taking some time out to rest, taking some time out in general here, okay? Not having the energy. Somebody's very trying to figure things out. How can they take the leap of faith? How can they move forward here, okay? I don't feel like this is you, Leo. I feel like this, uh, your person kind of took over this reading here. So it's just kind of, it's a heavy energy. Um, let's see, hopes and fears. We do have the world. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. Possible outcome here for Leo. Possible outcome for Leo. What do we got going on? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so something's moving in your favor here. There's going to be a new beginning, a new cycle. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the wheel's turning in your favor here. Okay, so something is closing out and something new here is beginning. And like I said, your mindset or, you know, in your head here is just kind of like going... Um, you just want to have fun right now, okay? If this is a dating situation, you just want to date a few people, go out, have a good time, um, enjoy yourself, really. that That's kind of the energy that I'm getting here, all right? Um, but somebody here is just kind of in this, this um, state of, you know, just feeling very regretful, sad, burdened, uh, you know, how do I get back to Leo? Um, Leo's sitting pretty high, high priestess there, starting a new beginning. Uh, but somebody, you know, there's a deep connection. Somebody is uh, falling in love or fell in love here. Has a lot of love, but hasn't moved forward yet, okay? Let's see. Let me clarify the, uh, the Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands about? The star, okay? Somebody sees you as their wish come true, all right? Someone sees you as someone that they want to spend their time with. They, they didn't choose you. See, you got the the three cups. They chose those three, three cups there in front of them. They thought they had it pretty squared away, but they didn't see the fact that you were their gift. You know, you were the one that they are supposed to be with. And, uh, and they didn't choose that opportunity here. And now they feel very burdened on that. And they're spying on you. Page of Swords. They're just spying on you, seeing what you're doing, checking out your social media. I would, I would lay you a bet. They got a new account, and they're probably on your social media right now if you have a private account. Like, you have no idea if they're already looking at you. Like, that's the type of shit they're doing right now. Like, really getting to the spy mode on you. Um, clarify Nine of Swords. What does this person do? Yeah, this person had a lot of options, okay? So this person that you're dealing with here, or have dealt with... Um, Chose a lot of options. You know, they, they may have uh, have had a lot of people, a lot of attention, okay? So um, they, they kind of focus their time and attention towards that, okay? And again, like I said earlier, with the Four of Cups, okay, th there's three cups that they're looking at, but they didn't choose you. You were the one that the universe was giving as a gift here, all right? So they, they did decided to kind of go with their options, which didn't work out, and now they're regretting it. They have a lot of burdens here, okay? Um, interesting temperance so um, you know temperance is bowing out balancing out a situation as well or just balancing out yourself your emotions um, this person needs to do that as well as uh, patience in general I think that um, you've been patient enough on this person this could be someone in the past where you just you um, page of swords again just looking at you, but I feel like this is someone in the past you've been waiting for, and they did they just ne never came through, and that window of opportunity is done. Um, it's like you know you waited, you waited, um, you know, trying to make a choice, trying to see, you know, is this person going to come back? They have a chance, they have a chance, and then they never come back, right? So you started a new cycle again, high priestess, the wheel of fortune, the world. You're just like you know what? I want everything new. I want a new person, and. Um, you kind of done with this past person. That's really what it is. Okay. 
Let's see if there's any new people coming in for you here. New connection for Leo. Well, let's see the possible outcome first of this past connection. Possible outcome of this past connection here. Seven of Wands. Uh, I don't think you're going to go with it. You're going to have your boundaries up here. Okay, Seven of Wands is fighting off this. Um, you know, And Page of Swords comes up again. You guys see me doing the, the shuffles, right? So Page of Swords here, somebody is spying heavily on you um but possible outcome here i just see you again this is your energy seven of wands um not wanting to uh, engage into this nine of wands protecting your energy you really you're done with it there's no i feel like that whatever emotions you used to have for this person is kind of gone you know and uh, i feel like it's just there like in terms of your your energy because this person's thinking about you now i think the tables are just turned to where they're focusing a lot on you okay um, new person I'm gonna check out this Knight of Wands because Knight of Wands tells me you are uh, wanting to go out and have fun and date and meet new people okay will of fortune the world I feel like that's that's still moving towards your your favor here so let's see what we got going on we have the eight of cups could be a water sign wow the queen of cups right after that so cancer Pisces Scorpio okay so you could be, and Leo is bottom of the deck there, so your energy. So definitely you here, but you, there could be a new connection that comes towards you, Leo. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Um, if your past person was a water sign, this is a new water sign, all right? They could have been walking away from something as well, but yeah, definitely water sign here. Um, you also have the moon, so it could be it could be a Pisces or Cancer. Um, let's see. Let me clarify the moon here. Yeah, definitely a new water sign coming towards you. Okay. Um, let's see the moon. We have the Empress. So I think you just understand the the full moon here that comes through in the beginning of the week. Maybe you just kind of find out your value. You know, like how much you're worth, what you what you deserve. And what you deserve in general in terms of like a, even if it's a work situation or just a partnership um, you know you don't have you don't have time to wait on somebody that has months or years to re respond to you you know and if that's the energy that they're giving to you and they made you wait for a long time and didn't really give a shit at the time then it's kind of more that energy like you know what i know i understand my value it doesn't matter male or female i understand my value and, and I think that's the kind of enlightenment moment that you're going to have, something that's going to kind of wake you up a little bit, okay? Um, and then focusing on your Ten of Pentacles, okay? And your new connection. So new connection coming in, focusing on your stability, which you already have been, and uh, you're moving towards that. And definitely a new connection coming towards you. I strongly still feel a water sign coming towards you, but a new one, all right? So definitely a new cycle, something new for you. All right, Leo? Um, that's what I see for you. Um, let me get you guys the universe has your back message here, and uh, we should close it out. All right. I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself that I am love and miracle are natural. When I'm connected to my joyful presence, I attract support from the universe. You know, so you know, just messages that you know you're you're. Your journey is supported here. Whatever you've been wanting, you've gave that chance to whoever this person is, whatever this past connection was, and you've put the time and energy into building something new for you. And I feel like this new connection here is going to be something that adds some sort of nice addition to whatever you're trying to focus on, and vice versa. Maybe you're you're also going to be adding some sort of value or a value to this person as well, this new person. The moment I realign with love, clear direction is presented to me. All right? So, Leo... That is your reading here. Um, I hope you liked it. Hit the like, subscribe if you have not already. I uh, really appreciate you guys. Until next time, we'll see you. Have a good one.